Welcome back to every chest sister channel. Today's so class we'll learn how to make this beautiful flare dress with bishop collar and lantern sleeve. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to be drafting this full flare dress using our basic bodies it's going to be a very simple method you don't need a long body just need a half scale up to your armhole area is enough i just extended it by two inches okay so here my shoulder is eight inches i measured the eight inches i went down by one inch for my shoulder slope and then the neck width i'm working with is you can work with three inches but i'm working with two and three quarter because i don't want it too wide so two and three quarter by one inch for the back and that's going to be by three inches for the front and then i connected it so here i measured my bust which is 44 divided by 4 11 inches i added one inch in my allowance and then i connected that for my ham or curve so after that the next thing is to cut out these bodies and we're going to use these bodies to cut out our full flare dress it's that simple okay so this is the bodies i cut out the neckline for the back before cutting the front okay so now the next thing is for us to just place this on our fabric so for you to fold your fabric you're going to fold the fabric into two first like i have folded after folding it so depending on the fullness that you're going for you're going to fold it in a cone form like this so because i want to i want mine to be really full you can see that i folded it completely to the other side like this but if you don't want it too full you can just fold like this so if you fold it like a mini triangle like this you can see that it's not reaching this other hand this is going to give you like a an airline effect okay if you want it a bit fuller you can still fold this like this it's going to be fuller than what we have earlier but if you want it to be completely full like what i am doing you are going to fold this to the other hand after folding into two like this then you fold this in form of a triangle to the other hand like this completely so cutting this out now you're going to have something really really full so after folding it like this so you're just going to bring in your basic bodies that you cut on this when you fold it you will see that you have two open parts here on this part that is completely closed that's going to be your center back and your center front so the center front of your the center fold of your bodies remember this is the side this is the center i'm going to place it on the center fold that you have which is this side that is completely closed remember this side is opened i held this with a pin so that it's not going to shift so i folded my fabric the same way i'm just going to maneuver my way to make sure that i get that point where my bodies can completely rest okay so you make sure that your shoulder here is the the place that you're placing is going to accommodate your shoulder and everything so once you have that point you're going to hold it down with your pins okay so I'm folding that point down with my pin before taking my full length measurement. Okay, so after placing it, this is what it looks like. You can see the starting point here. Okay, so the next thing now is to take your tape now from where your own shoulder starts and measure your full length so you can be your anywhere you want it to be actually. So for me, the full length that I'm working with here is going to be 38 inches. It's, it's a short, it's not it's not a short dress, but I don't want it too long, just only above on the knee length. So from there now i'm going to measure 38 inches so i just drew just a sample of a basic body so what we are doing because this is really big from where our shoulder point is here i'm going to measure my full length of 38 inches and i'm going to measure that around so to make this easy for me i'm going to measure the first one from here so if my 38 inches stops around here so from here now i'm going to measure from here all the way to where my 38 inches stop so let's say my 38 inches stops here so that i can have something round and uniform now i'm going to measure it from the tip of course it's going to increase more than the 38 inches so when we measured from here remember the tape was on four inches so so that i can have something uniform i'm measuring from the upper part here now i have six inches so now it is this six inches that i'm going to measure around from this apex so i'm going to measure six inches six inches all around so that i can have something round and uniform like this so that's how i'm going to measure it now from this shoulder point from this shoulder point 
Let me bring it down. From this shoulder point, I'm going to measure my 38 inches for the first one. Then after measuring the 38 inches, I'll mark that point. Then I'm going to mark, uh, remeasure it from the apex so that it's going to give me an idea of what I'm going to measure all round. Okay, so I've gone ahead to measure it. When I measured the first one, from here I measured 38 inches. And then after that, I marked that point. Then from here, I measured it again, and that gave me 45 inches. So it was this 45 inches that I used to measure it all round. And you can see how round and uniform the hem is looking. So after taking care of the hem, the next thing is to cut out the neckline. So to cut the neckline, you're just going to follow exactly what you have here. I'm starting from my shoulder point. I'm cutting out the shoulder. Just remove the pins that you have on your way so i'm cutting out the shoulder first and then from there i'm going to cut out my back neckline so you cut the back neckline first before removing it to cut the front neckline so after cutting out your back neckline you cut out your hand hole okay so placing your basic body just makes it very easy for you okay so now this is where my my armhole line stops so from where my my bust sorry my bust measurements with my one inch allowance so from where your bust measurement stops you just take a long ruler and connect from that side all the way to your hem in a diagonal form like this so i'm just going to eyeball mine and then i'll cut it but if you cannot from where your armhole stops you just get a a long ruler and then connect diagonally to this point that's the so let me explain this with the paper again remember our hand post stops here okay our hand measurement stops here so now from here you're going to get a ruler and connect it to the hem in a diagonal form like this and then you cut it out so now i'm going to cut this out so i've cut this out now and i just added extra half an inch there for weaving so this is what it looks like you can see how simple it is so the next thing is for you to just remove your pins so that you can take out your back part but before i take the back part out i'm not going to be adding any zipper to this so for the person to be able to wear it on the center back i'm going to remove the back piece like this take it together again and then i'm going to slash it open at the center back by around four to five inches okay so that the wearer can wear it easily so i'm just slashing the back okay like this a bit like this then i'm going to remove it completely and then i'll cut out my front neckline so now after removing it now you're going to take your pattern now and use your paper scissors to cut out the front neckline that you marked earlier and then you place this on your fabric and then use that to also cut out your front neckline so it's that simple so the neckline is cut out this is the front you can see it's really really full so this is the front this is the neckline for the front and this is the back also and this is the neckline for the back so I want us to cut everything before we start sewing. So to cut out our collar now, I'm just going to hold this with a pin. So you just imagine that you have sewn it. Then I'm going to measure around the neckline so that I can get the measurement needed for my bishop collar. Or you can just cut your bishop collar in excess a bit so that if it's not enough, if it, so that when you finish sewing it, you just cut off the excess that you may have there but i'm just holding this with my pins now so that i can measure around to get our neck neckline measurement so now after holding it together from my center back now i'm going to measure around the neckline okay so i'm just taking the tip measure all around the neckline from one cb to the other to the other and after measuring around i have 16 and half so i want it to extend by one inch on both sides so that i'm going to put my button and my button hole so one inch for each side is going to give me two inches and that's going to leave me with around 18 and half so i can just make it 19 inches or even 20 inches like i said you're going to cut out the excess so we are going to be cutting out a collar of 20 inches long now so you can cut the color directly on your fabric but for clarity i'm just going to be cutting it on this paper i have this paper this paper is around five inches by 
12 inches long so i'm just going to use that to explain to us so we had 20 inches when we did our measurement this is a half scale bodies so this is going to be your center fold okay and this side is going to be this side so now i'm going to measure 10 inches now okay that's the length that we are going for and then once i have my 10 inches i'm going to connect it like this okay so on this center on this back fold area i'm going to go down go i'm going to note the midpoint first okay so the midpoint of 10 is 5 so i have 5 inches there and then i'm going to make that into a straight line as well so the first thing i'm going to do now here i'm going to go up by one inch and then i'm going to connect that one inch to my center okay remember we divided this by two to get this so after getting this point the next thing is to measure the length of your collar that's how long you want your collar to be so you can do one inch you can do one and a half you can do so i'm just going to make my one and a half inches so i will measure one and a half inches here you keep measuring one and a half inches all around that's the height of your collar so if you are measuring this remember this one is going to go off it's no longer part of your collar so now you take your measurement from here and then i'm going to measure the one and a half inches here so after measuring your one and a half inches all around again you are going to connect everything together Okay, so you connect from here to here and then from here to here you can use a slightly curved part of your ruler so that you're not going to have any sharp edge so this is the shape that our color is taking now so on the upper part here you can just go inwards by 0.25 inch just to shape it a bit and then you connect it back like this okay so that is a simple way you can easily draft your strop color so after drafting it like this you just cut this out and then you fold your fabric into four you can fold it on bias if you want so that it can roll well or you just fold it normally into four and then you cut out your collar so that you can cut your main fabric and your lining together so now i'm going to indicate this as my c f my center front and my side so now i'm going to bring in my fabric now and cut my collar to so cut this on my fabric and you can see the fold point the center fold i made it to be on the fold points like this so that it can be together the two sides so now i just added my seam allowance you can add half or quarter of an inch whatever it is that you sew with as your seam allowance so when you open it up like this this is what it's going to look like so you had your stay collar stay to it and then you're going to sew it on the upper part okay so this is the upper part so you are going to hem you are going to sew it all around on the upper part and this lower part is what you are going to sew to your bodies so now i'm going to keep this aside and work on the sleeve so for the sleeve it's a voluminous sleeve as we have seen on the thumbnail so the same way i cut out the main bodies is how i'm going to cut out the sleeve i'm going to be cutting the two together so to do this i'm going to fold my fabric into two then after folding it to two like this i'm going to fold it in a cone form just like i did for the for the bodies and i'm going to fold this completely as well so it's going to be really really big if you don't want yours to be this big what you just need to do is just fold it in half you don't need to get to here you can just fold it in half or whatever it is that you want so after folding i'm just going to rule a starting point i hope you can see this way. i'm going to rule a starting point here this is my center fold part and this is this side so on the side area now you're going to measure your calf size mine is four inches so i'm going to measure four inches downwards like this and then i'm going to try to form an arm hook curve so after forming your arm hook curve you're going to use your tape to confirm that it is enough for your arm hole okay so mine is enough my arm hole is nine inches and i have around 11 inches so that's fine for me so once you're okay with what you have you measure your sleeve length so for the length from here now i'm going to measure my sleeve length my sleeve length is 20 two inches so for the volume part i'm just going to add like one or two inches to it so that it can give it room to really puff so now i have maybe i can even make it 25 so once i have 25 inches just like i did for the first one i'm going to measure from this upper part to see what 25 will give me so this is 33 and a half so it is that 33 and a half that i'm going to measure all round so that i can have something uniform so now from here I'm measuring my 33 and a half all around 
about it's like this still is going to be big so i think i'm just going to work with 32 okay so now from here i'm measuring 32 inches all around from the apex and then i'm going to cut it out okay so now you can see on this side i don't have enough so i'm just going to blend it in because i don't want it to have joining but if you don't mind joining you can just measure it and then join to it but i'm just going to blend it in like this because i don't want my sleeves to have any joining there so this is what i have now i'm going to cut it out okay so after cutting it out this is what the hem looks like so mine is just short on this other side it's just going to be short by around one and a half inches so if you don't mind joining you can add joining to it but i don't want this to have any joining seam. so that's why i'm just leaving it like that so after cutting that i'm going to cut out your hand hole as well and then i'm going to open this other side so that i can have two sleeves i cut the sleeve together so now all the cutting is done the next thing is to go ahead and join all of this together and it's a simple free dress so it's very simple and easy to join so these are our two sleeves so here you just need to run to create a casing with your bias or a fabric so that you can use your elastic to gather it and by the time we gather it you can see that it's going to be really really voluminous so that is it for the sleeve to so sew it now i'm going to bring my main bodies and join it together on the shoulder i'm also going to join it on the side so after joining it on the side as well i'm going to join my sleeve to it gather it and run an elastic there and then i'm going to join my collar as well so i'm gonna have to sew them together i joined it on the shoulder just like i explained and then i sew the side seams together after which i fixed my sleeve okay so on the hem of the sleeve i turned to get a casing and then i passed my elastic to gather everything together you can see how voluminous the sleeve is looking this is the other sleeve and then i went ahead to sew in my bishop collar so on one part of the collar i opened a button hole and then i fixed a button on the other side to close it that is after you must have hemmed that four inches opening we created so i hemmed mine with the same fabric but you can use a bias of the same color then you go to the lower side now and then you hem the lower part of your dress neatly so you can see how neat it is and then i've pressed everything down so now this is what the full view of the dress looks like i'll take you to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like okay so this is what the full dress looks like this is the bishop color and you can see how voluminous and beautiful the sleeve looks like and this is what the full view of the flare dress looks like it's a very simple tutorial and it's beautiful as we have seen i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye